Legion Tactical Cutlery. Hey everyone, how you guys doing? This is Grugs again of Legion Tactical Cutlery and I'm back with another big badass Bowie and I wanted to share it with you guys. I've known you've seen the gator tail out there before, but this is my gator tail and I wanted to give uh, give you guys a glimpse of uh, you know my badass Bowie. Okay, but uh, before we get into all that, okay, I want to say welcome to everybody. Welcome troops. Welcome uh, recruits. Um, I want to know what's in your pocket. Comment below. Uh, and I got some shout outs. I got four today. Okay. Uh, first one is Georgia Trapping and Fishing. Stella's Knife Obsession. Big Al's Blade. Knife Dude. Yeah, I mean, really great channels. You got to check them out. Um, I'm going to leave links below in the description. Now I want to know what's in your pockets, guys. Today I have my, let me get it out. There you go. My CRKT PR3. I got to do a review on this because this is, I know it's a little bit older knife, but what a great knife to have in your pocket. I, I barely feel that it's there. I'm usually carrying my cold steel tie light, four inch, but uh, I've been loving this one. And I'm also carrying, which I got yesterday in my other pocket. Hold on a second. Okay. I have this Marbles Tortoiseshell Copperhead. <laughs> this is amazing. And I got this one off of eBay real cheap. Um, and I liked the covers because they weren't so light. And if you go check out my Instagram page, um, you'll you'll get some pictures. Um, I like these this tortoise shell. I know it's uh, it's not real, it's imitation, but I don't, you know, it's not big, bright and flashy. I did take one picture and you'll, you know, you'll see it on Instagram. Um, <clears throat> I did a picture in the sun and it showed the highlights of the uh, covers and it was amazing. And I yeah, cleaned this up for you guys today. Really nice. All right, all right, so let me know what's in your pocket, man. Okay, so also, vets, military personnel, if you watch my channel, comment below. I want to know. We all want to know, you know. Let, let us know what branch you're in. You know, we respect you guys. <clears throat> you are the citizen soldiers of the United States, and we appreciate you. Um, and, uh, you know, let us know who you are. All right, guys. Um Next, let's get started with this big, badass buoy. So this is the KHI Gator Tail, designed by Donnie B. All Day, or D-Bad. you got to go check out his channel. All right, and it is massive. I can't fit it on the screen. <laughs> so I just got to show you. Okay, so before we get to the close-ups, I want to give you some, some decent specs here, okay? Now, <clears throat> I was going to copy all the specs off the website, but then I started doing some measurements myself and trying to, you know, see if the specs on the websites were the same. Because these are handmade, I'm thinking that this is a little bit different. So I did a lot of measuring myself. Um, they're saying that the actual weight of this knife is 1.89 pounds, almost two pounds. It's, it's a pretty hefty knife, uh, ladies and gentlemen. It's pretty hefty. So when, uh, when you come uh when you come hitting a branch and come that thing is crashing down it's gonna it's gonna do some damage uh my um gator tail the length from here to here that i measured is 11.5 inch the blade width from here to here is 2.25 inch the blade thickness and this is a pretty thick blade Okay, it is a quarter inch, a 0.25 inch. Um, this does come with very, very sharp edges for a ferro rod, and I did cut, you know, almost cut myself once. Um, and Joe confirmed, Joe from Steel Forged and Fire, uh, confirmed that that was purposely done. Thank you, Joe. Uh, the blade material, <clears throat> and this is my particular um, KHI Gator Tail because this is something that I requested. It's uh, 5160 oil quenched. I don't know how they usually do it, but I specifically asked the salesperson oil quenched. 
and this blacksmith who created or who made this knife is AJ McGard. Um, okay, so the edge or the hardness is 55, 57. The blade edge, the very edge of the blade, they're saying it is a convex, which I I agree with that because I, I like that, you know, since it's such a big buoy, I think convex is a smart way to go, especially if you're doing a lot of chopping. Um, the blade grind here, I don't know, they said Scandi on their website, but this feels more like a hollow grind. So that's what I'm going to, you know, I'm going to say that mine is. Blade finish is semi-polished. Overall length, ladies and gentlemen, for this big ass buoy is 16.5 inches. It is full tang. You can see that. It's beautiful. Full tang goodness. All right. Um, handle length. Uh, website says 5.5 inches, but this particular one is just 5 inches, but that's fine. It fits my hand. Um, it is uh, black micarta scales with brass pins. Now, I did notice on mine, the uh, micarta, it is done well, but it's it feels a little slippery, not as grippy as some of the other stuff I'm used to. I think they did too good of a job in polishing the handles. I might need to wrap something, but um, I'm hoping, I'm hoping that uh, tomorrow I can get into the woods if it's not too cold and utilize this and take some, uh, you know, some uh, video of uh, utilizing this. And it does come with a Western shot style sheath. They call it a black sheath. I don't know. It looks kind of brown to me, but we'll get it. We'll, we'll uh, get into it later. All right. That's, that's it. That's the specs. Um, let's take a really close look. You can see that there's a huge fuller over here, and I think that looks fantastic. This blade was made by that Smith, AJ McGar, and I dealt with a salesperson. Um, what was his name? Jeez, I forgot his name. Rye, I think it was. I have to double check. I'll, I'll, I'll put it in the comments below. But yeah, let's take a look at this bad boy. It's got a, if you notice, it's got a choil. It's got a little bit of a guard. So it is pretty good. I mean, the design of the guard is well. It's a little, it's a little sharp. You just got to be careful, you know. Maybe just polishing that down a little bit won't hurt. But inside the choil, it is sharp. So in case you want to do the ferro rod from here, instead of turning it around. It does have an option to, you know, to, to scrape from the ferro rod over there. I love the fuller. It just brings out the design of the of the blade. It is a quarter inch thick. That's that's pretty badass right there, you know? And it does taper down a little bit down towards the ends of, under the full tang, which is pretty good. So it is it is a little bit more blade heavy. Um it it does, aside from the you know, the handle being a little bit slippery, it is very comfortable to hold whether I, I grip it, you know, in the rear over here or in the front or in the middle. Um, I did do a Fatwood Friday with this and it is a big blade. So I did get, you know, my hands did get a little bit tired. So, you know, um, if you're going to take anything into the woods instead of, a, you know, an axe and you want to take this long, you may want to take something a little bit smaller with you to do some of the little bit finer work because this did fatigue me a little bit. Um, so, uh, but we'll find out tomorrow. You know, I'm, I'm kind of pretty excited about tomorrow. Hopefully I can get to the, yeah, it's supposed to be like 40, 48 degrees. So that shouldn't be too bad. And I like to get into the, the woods and uh, do a little bit of chopping. You know, I want to, I want to beat on this bad boy a little bit. Um, uh, this does have a little bit of a sharpened edge, boy. I'll tell you, I, I, I'll, you can cut yourself over here. So if you're to whack somebody over the head this way, they're going to get cut. Um, but they did the swedge very nicely. I mean, it's just, it's just pretty cool, man. It's extremely sharp. Um, it will, it will cut paper. Um, and I can't wait to see what it's going to cut tomorrow. Now, you know, you've seen, you've seen other content creators go at it with this. And I have no doubt that this is an extremely capable buoy knife, but, uh, you know, I want to see what it can do myself. You know what I mean? And, um, you know, the few times that I've gone out to go chop and stuff, it's it's a lot of fun, man. So, all right, let's take another good look. You can see the handles over here. Brass pins, nice texturing. I think they did a good job, you know, an option for a lanyard. Uh, there is a lanyard hope for an option for, you know, for a lanyard. So you could do some, some 
uh, gripping with it. It's a pretty decent, badass big Bowie. Yes, sir. All right, so let's take a quick look at the sheath. This sheath uh, is done very well. It, I, in my opinion, it's done a little bit better than the KHI Preacher sheath that I received. Oh, and by the way, um, if you, any of you guys are interested uh, in any of these knives, um, there are some knives, you know, from KHI, there are some knives available in the USA Depot. And that's basically in Pennsylvania. You guys can, you know, order right from Pennsylvania and uh, go check it out. You know, maybe there's something there that you like. You know, I, I see two buoys there that I would like. I would like to grab. And they're right in Pennsylvania. And it'll take a couple of days. You don't have to worry about tax. Just uh, the price is great. You know, check it out. Okay. Here's the sheath. This doesn't look black. They say black, but this looks brown to me. Done very well. Nice and thick. You know, it's uh, got a nice loop. Not much, not much versatility for carry, but I guess something this big, you don't want to carry it. Scout style, but who knows, you know, I'm sure that you could put something around here, uh, you know, if you want to do or upgrade the sheath, the Kydex. Um, they do have a whole bunch of options on their website, but I, I just uh, maintained with the whole default setup. Um, you could put some some paracord over here and wrap this around your leg because it is going to be pretty big. Well, yeah, it's a pretty nice sheath. Let me put the knife inside the sheath. Now, the um, the handle strap, it's not as bad as my KHI one. I mean, my uh, Preacher uh, handle strap, but this one is not too bad. So let me pop this sucker in. As you can see, it goes in pretty decent. It's a nice fit and finish over here, as you can see. Much better than my Preacher. And let's snap this in. There we go. Not bad, not bad. Let's take a look. Not bad. It, it's got a little bit of gapping, but way better, way better than you know, my Preacher. All right, guys. Hopefully, I can get out there tomorrow and uh you know do some do some testing with this for myself you know um because i want to see what it can do and uh i um do plan on doing hopefully a uh you know again if it's warm i want to do a fat with friday i haven't done that in a while since i've been in florida um and uh it's been cold here so you know i, I get a little nervous uh, about the cold weather but i'm gonna try it out tomorrow bundle up real good and I'm just going to do a small fire, fat with fire. Um, these new woods that I found, I want to bring, one of these days I'm going to bring a whole bunch of bushcraft kit into the into the woods with me. I'm going to bring a saw speeds, I'm going to bring an axe, I'm going to bring a saw. Um, now, I know it's a lot of gear, you know, and I'm going to bring a whole bunch of stuff, but I am not young anymore and I can't, you know, go a huge distance anymore. So it's about to get into the woods from the, from the, from the parking lot is is about a football field away and that's that's good enough for me so i understand you bushcraft guys you know that uh it might be a little bit too much gear but what the hell i mean i'm only walking in for a football field and it'll be a lot of fun to try out a lot of the gear i have you know i want to i, I want to use my lt right i want to use my um grainsford's uh axe and i want to use my silky saw you know i haven't i haven't done that yet i want to you know do some cooking i've got i love cook kits Stanley cook it, so I plan on, I plan on doing some of that. Hopefully, not getting busted, but we'll see. <laughs> anyway, guys, uh, all right, let's recap. Um, don't forget to uh, write the, in the comments what you can. I want to know, man. I really do. I, I love, I love everybody who, who puts comments down uh, and what they're carrying. Um, again, the uh, four shoutouts: Georgia trapping and fishing, Stella's knife obsession. Big Al's Blade and Knife Dude. Check them out. I'll have the links um, in the description or, or pinned. Um, and uh, they're really great. Um, remember vets. Remember military personnel. Shout yourself out in the, in the comments. Let people know who you are, what branch you're from. You know, I don't mind. We love you. And uh, also want to bring awareness to everybody. You know, um, hashtag 22 a day. Hashtag 22 a day no more. 
Um, there are veterans out there who come back distressed and unfortunately they take their own lives, but there's help. I mean, uh, if you look in my uh, description, there is there are phone numbers. Um, you're welcome here, man. Um, there are links to get help. Get yourself some help because your family wants you around. Okay. All right, guys, that's it. Um, hopefully I can get, get out tomorrow into the woods. Hopefully I could bash this thing around a little bit and I could do a fat with Friday. So hopefully I'll make two separate videos for tomorrow. Oh boy, let me tell you content creators, man, this is, this is tough doing these videos. It's a lot of work, but it's a lot of fun. All right, guys, thank you very much. I love you all. Thank you very much, True, for subscribing. Thanks, new recruits, if any. I appreciate you guys taking the time and watching me. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.